Back to Little Creek Bee Ranch part two of the double medium split. So what we've done is we found in the far hive over there, we found uh, cells on the top and bottom. So because we're set up in double mediums, we just went ahead and pulled the top box away, set it down here on the bottom, and now we have two hives. We're setting a new medium on top of both of them, and the one that Marlo is working on now, we will bundle it together with a strap and put it in the truck, drive it around, go set it in a different apiary. My point in viewing and making this video is if you will set up on double mediums, I want the screen. It all, yeah, screen. Uh, no, I'm sorry, screen. Screen top. No, 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 no. Go with a solid because that's all we got right now. Okay. Just put the solid on. If you will go with the mediums, yeah, the thin side down. If you will brood in double mediums, it offers you the opportunity to be doing some uh, walk away box splits. Just, I think, wiser more flexibility so now she's done she's gonna square it up gonna square it up yep there we go now we're gonna get the red ratchet strap out strap it down tight and pull the truck up here and take off with them so that was a quickie video kind of in two parts we wanted to do a certain project with these bees right here but they wouldn't let us because we had queen cells top and bottom so just because they're last year swarm doesn't always mean they don't want to swarm. They threw down some queen cells, so we pull the top box off when we come down here to a new set, give each hive a new top box. But this new one's got to be trucked around and driven around the section and then put in a new apiary. That one over there is the parent colony. They stay in place. There you go. Watch the video two or three times. That'll get you some sustainable bees, some sustainable beekeeping practices going. See you later.